Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I have the unboxing of Timex for you. It's actually my first ever Timex, and no, it's not a Timex Q. I was gonna buy it two weeks ago when it was released, but I changed my mind at the last second just because I really want the model that I showed you guys today. Um, anyways, firstly, let me explain to you uh, something real quick. So the last video that I did was about 11 months ago. And the reason why uh, I took such a long break and, you know, just doing the first video, like right now, 11 months later, is because... Um, it's because I spend so much time editing stuff and I'm not really good at it. And I think the fact that I spend so much time editing stuff, it makes me, you know, didn't really, I honestly didn't want to continue doing it just because it took so much time and I'm not really good at it. So this time around, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to do it raw. Uh, just like random Rob almost. Uh, no editing, no nothing. Well, I don't think he edited any of his video anyway. Um, I'm just going to do it raw. So if it make mistakes, just go easy on me. Okay? Um, between now and December, I'm going to have about 10 watches coming. Well, between now and February. And most of them, if not all, are micro brands. So just stay tuned. Okay. Anyways, let's get into it. Here's the time mix that I got. Here's the box. And it actually came in this uh, plastic bag with obviously a invoice and receipt inside. And this one here, I really like the look of. And here it is. With a tag. This is um Timex XL 41 mil. All of the reviews that I see online right now is based on um the smaller model, which is 38 mil. But honestly, I couldn't find I actually I actually wanted that model 38 mil, but all of them are quite expensive. It's about 110, 120 pounds, I think. So I opt for this one. And I think I made the right choice. Um, it's actually fit perfectly on my 7-inch wrist. Let's take it off. Oh. Okay, here it is. I'm just going to leave the tag on for now just because I don't have a scissors to cut it or anything like that. So here's the 41 mil. Okay. It looks really good and firstly the strap I think it's um, made out of the uh, ballistic nylon I think it's something that you use for the parachute and stuff so it is very durable it is very thick and I can tell you that it should last for years however I'm gonna be taking this off and put just a simple NATO on just because I want to save the strap okay let's get into the dimensions and stuff So basically, the thickness the thickness is 14.4, 14.5, And then and then is 40 mil. For the dimensions but then if you count the crown as well that's 42.7 the luck with I think I did it last night and I think that's 20 no the luck with is 18.8 okay so this one here I really like the look of it um, fit perfectly on my wrist. I, I will try it on later. But what I um 
the one downside I can see straight away is the the sword hands is quite small for my liking so it is not the most legible um, watch it's not bad but it is not the most legible watch they could make the hands a bit bigger I think but you know it is absolutely fine I'm just nitpicking here and you can see here the um, it's got like a magnifying glass looking all around a 24 hours mark which is quite cool 100 meters water resistant uh, and the bezel the bezel action actually I lied the plastic is still on here you know so this is a real unboxing right hold on let me peel this off okay so the it is very, very hard to turn the bezel, by the way, just, just to let you know. There's no click. It's just a smooth action. It's getting looser now, so it's fine. Very tight, uh, very smooth action. It's nice and firm, so it's good. And this one's got a mineral glass, which I'm not a fan of. This is actually my first mineral glass. It is actually my first mineral glass. And from what I read, is that mineral glass is going to scratch quite easily. It's almost impossible to get rid of the scratch if you get a deep scratch. And it is likely to shatter. So if they don't want to spend money on sapphire glass, which you probably won't get at this price point, I would prefer them to use acrylic, so at least I can use a poly watch to get rid of the scratch, if it's not too deep, that is. But yeah, I like it. What do you think? And the case back, just um, God, the damn tag is annoying. It's like um, the plastic still on there. See, it's like a globe image there. And the crown is unsigned. And I don't think it's screw down crown. No, it's not a screw down crown. Okay. Nice and smooth. It's fine. And the buckled is signed. Highly polished, by the way. And the keeper is high, highly polished as well. But I love the strap though. So that's why I want to save it. And the case. Case is brushed. But around the bezel outside is polished. And the case back is polished. For me personally, I prefer, prefer everything to be brushed. Just because it's more of a... Going to give it of more of a to watch look kind of thing you know so let me put this on my seven inch wrist real quick i'll show you 40 mil that's my sweet spot i think um 42 is probably my max ish but that's all depends on obviously the luck width and stuff like that and here it is on my seven inch wrist the glass protrude a little bit so you guys just have to be careful if you buy this it you may get a nick every now and again it's quite a lip here. Oh, the one dimension I forgot to give you is the um, the lock to lock, which I think is very very important. As important as the dimension, I think, in my opinion, anyway. The lock to lock is about 47.8, 
which is okay. Um, I always think that anything below 49 is good. So, yep. So you guys go and check it out. I think it might be quite hard or, well, it is at least for me anyway, in the UK for that 38 mil, they seems to want about 110, 120 pounds. But I paid 70 pounds for this, uh, the XL size. Really like it. And I love the fact that it's quartz. I used to have quartz, then I sold it, and then I got into divers, automatic, and all that. But now I just, I got bit hard by a quartz buck. Um, I've been looking at Timex, Tracer, uh, Marathon. So there's going to be more Timex coming, I'm sure. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, okay? Uh, subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon. So every time I post a video, you guys are going to get a notification straight away, hopefully. And also, please remember that all the watches that I'm going to be reviewing, is, I actually buy all, I actually buy all of them. So I'm not an ATM machine, so go easy on me. It's going to take a while for me to buy watches because usually before I buy them, I have to do research and all that. So, and all the watches I review is in my collection. So. You know, the video might be slow, but I will continue doing this anyway. Thank you for your time, okay? I'll see you guys later. Bye.